Some state lawmakers questioned de Blasio administration officials today about the crisis on Rikers Island. This after many of them toured the facility and witnessed the deteriorating conditions. In light of all the progress being touted, CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas introduces us now to a detainee who shares his experiences behind the walls. 39 year old Melvin Collins has been on Rikers Island for three years awaiting trial on felony burglary charges. We spoke to him by phone. Tell me about the violence. The officers' lives are in jeopardy is true, and the inmates' lives are in jeopardy too. You have so many violent people coming in the jail because of what they're getting pissed up off, off the streets in order to protect yourself. People have weapons. You hear the desperation in his voice. Collins is on suicide watch. I'm not a violent person. I've gotten jumped. I've gotten sexually assaulted. I've gotten stabbed in my face to the point where I have 13 stitches in my face. Friday, Mayor de Blasio's administration outlined progress being made in front of the state assembly's correction committee while calling on the courts to take up more cases. Rikers Island is not a prison, but is being asked to function as one. 400 detainees have left the city jail in the last two weeks between the transfer of inmates to state facilities and the release of nonviolent parolees. Add to that addressing overcrowding, upgrading facilities, and increasing access to programming. Still, every day, thousands of correction officers are not coming to work, a shortage the commissioner said is contributing to an alarming rise in suicides. But I would say it's a mix of uh, our inability to be staffed the way we should be and some natural cause deaths. This hurts so bad to know that young people are dying in our system when they should be getting help. Advocates held a rally and blocked traffic to send a message to district attorneys and judges to stop sending people to Rikers Island while knowing the dangerous conditions. Meantime, behind the walls, Melvin Collins calls his aunt. Both are unsure what will happen day to day. I'm trying out here. I know you are. And I'm trying to get home to you in one piece alive. I'm trying to get home in one piece alive. I'm so scared for my life. Scared for his life. That's a sentiment that's been relayed to us numerous times. Violence still remains the central area of concern. The Bronx District Attorney's Office that oversees Rikers still has more than 300 open cases for violent incidents this year alone. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. The state committee convened for more than six hours after hearing testimony from various stakeholders. No new policies were proposed.